Wendy at Scrapbook Graphics. Today we are looking at the Pattern Maker Mini Action Set. This is a quick little set of actions designed to help you make a pattern that's just a quick, simple one. Sometimes all you need is something simple, and this is just a quick time saver for that. There are three actions in this set. The first action starts with a new blank file and then pauses to allow you to create your image on that canvas. The second one assumes that you've already drawn your image that you want to turn into a pattern. And the final action is a pattern saver action that turns the pattern we just created into a saved pattern in Photoshop. So let's get started. We're gonna run the first action and press play. We get a first little message here that we are going to create a new canvas that will be prompted to stop and draw our shape, make sure it doesn't go over the edge. And then when we're prompted again, we need to enter the canvas size and remember that for a later time. So go ahead and click continue. Here we can choose the size of the canvas for our pattern. So the, obviously the smaller the size, the smaller the pattern you're going to end up with. If you want a much larger object on your canvas, you want to start with a larger canvas size here. So let's just change this to 200 by 200 and say OK. Now let's go ahead and press stop and draw our shape. Now we can use any of our drawing tools to create our shape. I can use a brush and just draw something. Or if I want, I can grab my shape tool and go ahead and make a shape here. Anything I want to put on this pattern can be done right here. You want to go ahead and make this pattern in the color that you want to use it in. So we'll just leave this as gold here. The other thing I didn't mention in the written instructions is that it's a good idea to go ahead and center this. So I'm going to press Command T and then type in 100 and 100. And that's half of the canvas size that I entered earlier. And just press Enter to center that. Now I'm going to go ahead and press play so that the action picks right up where it left off. Here I can choose what color I want the rest of the pattern to be in. And I'm going to click color from the drop down menu and sample this gold color and say OK. And then just click OK. Now here, this is the offset amount. So remember when we selected our canvas size at the very beginning, I told you you needed to remember that number. That was 200, so we're going to enter 200 by 200 right here and click OK. And now even though this looks a little bit funny, this is our new pattern file. So let's go ahead and run the pattern saver so I can demonstrate what that pattern looks like. So I've clicked the pattern saver and I'm going to press play. This reminds us that in order for this to work, we need to have two layers here. They need to be named center and back. So after you run one of the first two actions, be sure you're not renaming these layers. And then press continue. You're prompted to name your pattern file. So I'm just going to use the defaults here. And now let's fill a layer with this pattern to see what it looks like. So I'm going to create a new document, 12 by 12. I'm going to add a new layer. And now we're going to go to Edit, Fill. I'm going to change this to Pattern. And then from the Pattern drop down, I'm going to go ahead and select the very last one that was saved. And there we go. There's my offset pattern. So you see this center arrow here was the original. And the action created the rest of this pattern here. And if you zoom in, you can see it's seamless and it all matches up perfectly. So let's go ahead and try out the second action. Now the second action assumes that you already have your document created with your object or drawing on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new document. And let's do one at 100 by 100. And let's zoom in and I'm going to get my pencil here and I am going to just draw a quick little swish and then let's go ahead and center that because this is 100 to center it I need to put it at 50 and that is perfect and now I can go ahead and run this second action so press continue the black is fine because that's what I started with 
And now remember, this is a 100 pixel document, so 100 and 100 is exactly what we want. Press OK. And there we have our pattern for this one. So now I can click the saver on this one. And I can change this file name here. And then let's go ahead and close out of this document. So we're back here. I'm going to create a new layer and go to Edit, Fill, change it to Pattern, and select the new pattern, and press OK. And there's my pattern. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to use the first two patterns that were saved when we ran the saver. So I'm going to go ahead and make two new layers in this document. In the first layer, I'm going to fill it with the first pattern. So I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, go to the pattern, and let's select pattern A. And you'll see here this has just the basic center pattern going. Let's select the next layer and go to Edit, Fill, and for this one we'll choose the pattern B. There we go. Now we have both parts to this pattern. What's handy about this is that we can go ahead and now lock this layer down. We can change our color and fill these layers separately for different um, color effect here. So now we can get alternating colors in our pattern. So that is the Pattern Maker Mini. I hope it's a quick and fun tool for you in creating your pattern papers. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching this episode of Learn It. Mm -hmm.